If you come from an Indian background, you'll know that a wedding isn't a single event on a day. It's more like a week-long campaign. That's no understatement, especially if you're following tradition. Even brides with contemporary tastes can enjoy the ethnic look, especially if they choose a creation by a designer like Manish Malhotra. Mela's resident style panelist Tarun Hansrat is standing by to unpack some of Manish's top trends for this season and be on the lookout for Karina Kapoor in The Showstopper. In the same way that a cocktail is more than a mix of drinks, outfits for the bride and groom are more than just clothes. Perhaps that's why Manish chose Cocktail as the title of his bridal collection. It implied a punchy fusion created for a celebration, with alluring colours, a hint of seduction and a dash of adventure served with panache. Cocktails are the product of innovation and the designer was more than happy to chuck out the rule book when selecting his colours. Burgundy formed the main ingredient, blended to rosé and distilled to brandy shades, topped with cream and complemented by greys and silvers. Manisha's contemporary ethnic ensemble presented a masala martini for the sophisticated style palette. She could choose from a sensual menu of saris, gowns and low-waisted langas, while he was offered bungalow jackets and blazers paired with jodhpur pants. Contrasts and layers added depth to the visual effect. Using a selection of textured silks and velvet, complemented by flowing chiffons and gossamer nets. Sparkle is a big part of the cocktail experience and metallics evoke the fizz of champagne and the glitter of ice. Manish has a long association with Bollywood, so celebrity showstoppers are a given. This time, long-term client and friend Karina Kapoor Khan stepped out in an elegantly glamorous purple langa, topped with a mirror-embellished jacket. Well, here it is. I'm about to meet up with our style guru, Harun Hansrat. So let's see what he's got in store for us. Wow, Harun, that looks absolutely beautiful. What do you have in store for us today? Well, today I'm going to take you through Manish Malhotra's grand finale Lakme collection. Now, using Manish Malhotra's collection as inspiration, how can we use this beautiful fabric? I mean, what is it? It's absolutely stunning. This is pure silk chiffon, and I found that his collection had the beautiful berries from the very light to the very deep, which gave it a bit of a steel grey sort of look and I thought that was fantastic. It works so beautifully. So for someone like me who needs extra length, would I use this from the dark colour moving down to the light colour or the light colour moving down to the dark colour? It's very important because depending on your skin tone, for example, if I'm working on a model like you, your pale colour contrasts beautifully with this very dark shade going into very light and this will give you a lot of length because it's almost as if it's going into a very pale and length pale I need fit. length <laughs> well let me just show you I love the way Manish used his saris and the way he used his gowns it was very modern very contemporary sort of look but I thought if we had to use this in a South African twist it would give us a very Grecian look because I think it works very well with South Africans so I found this trim that works beautifully. It's very chic, very classy. This, I found, had a sort of trait that Manish had used. He's used a lot of the braidings and embroidery on the waistline and on the hips, emphasizing certain areas of the body. And I think this, something like this, classy, cuts away from the bust, so it can make a bust look minimum. You know, it gives you that minimum 
look and it also has a very, very flowy look. Now when it comes to braiding, how do you know where to place the braiding? I love that question and I think this is so important when dressing. Mm. If you have a really, really slim waistline, there's nothing better than emphasizing the waist. In fact, using a contrast braiding like this, which Manish had mixed different colors. I love the way he used the steely sort of colors, the grays with the beautiful berry colors and it just made the garment pop. If we had to use something like this on the waistline, on a really super toned body, it will emphasize her waistline. A woman should emphasize what works well for them and hide what they're really conscious about. So these are tricks of the trade. Yes, and Manish has also used embroidery and borders at the bottom. That works very well on, I think, if you had to work it on the Indian garment. But South African women love to look tall. So for someone like me who needs extra height, don't put the border at the bottom. If you had to use a border on your base, it's that is the headline. You are just ending your, your length there. So if we have to go to a cocktail party, I mean, summer is coming up. So using inspiration from Manish Malhotra, what kind of dress would I style or what kind of dress would I try and create for myself? I think Manish had used a lot of the sequin fabric, which is very in at the moment. It works beautifully because it has an element of bling, but you get different types of sequin fabric. You could get something from a matte sort of look to something as shiny and elaborate as this. Now this fabric looks like a party fabric and definitely one for a night out. How can I style this for something like that? I love the fact that it has all those silver sort of elements coming through. It has a bit of sheer, which gives it a sexy little twist. Oh, that's lovely because I mean, you can obviously show off a little bit of skin. And I thought if you want to break that, depending on how over the top you want to go, Try to keep within something that's gonna give you a very sassy sort of look. This looks perfect for a cocktail event. And look at this piece of silk that I had found. It's a beautiful satin. It flows extremely beautifully. It's soft, it's feminine. And imagine having just a portion of the gar a garment that's beaded, which is the bodice, and then working a skirt, which is going to be flowy. So when you walk, it it makes you look sexy automatically. <laughs> it's extremely flattering. It's almost as if your garment is talking. Well, that's it from our style guru, Harun Hansrad. Stay tuned because we'll get more tips from him in the seasons coming up.